Hey guys, it's Kim from All Things Wild North Georgia, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to talk about, snakes. And I've got my friend Marty here. Marty is a cotton mouth, also known as a water moccasin. And um, I'm going to put Marty down so that we can talk a little bit about cotton mouths. These guys are terribly misunderstood. Actually, I think in snake education, probably the most misunderstood snake that I work with. Um, one of the things that I hear all the time is how aggressive they are and that they chase. These two things are actually myths. Um, these guys have a really good sense of smell and they love fish. That's one of their main food sources. So if you're along the creeks um, in middle Georgia, south Georgia, and you're fishing, these guys may smell your fish. Now, he's going to come to your uh, to your fishing pole because he thinks your fish is his fish. Uh, the other thing that I get a lot of is these guys chase. Um, what's actually happening is all snakes and water moccasins included, cotton mouth, they have a, um, a place that they feel safe. And feeling safe is important to them. One of the things that they're gonna do is if you are between their safe space, they may come at you. It's not that they're necessarily coming at you, it's that they're coming to find their safe space. A lot of people perceive that as, um, chasing them or coming after them. Another thing they will do is sometimes they try to get on people's boats. Um, they're not coming on the boat because they want to eat the people. Maybe you've got fish on there um, or they're just being kind of curious. They just want to see what's going on and um, but they're not really going onto the boat to go after you. So one of the things you'll notice is occasionally he'll shake his tail. That's something that they use as a defensive measure. I'm going to stand up and he'll probably gape. There he goes. This is a gaping thing that they do. And gaping and this position is something that they do as a defensive measure. The other thing you'll notice is he kind of flattens his body out to, to be bigger. He's trying to look bigger because he really wants to intimidate me because what he really wants is for me to leave him alone. Um, I am not in any danger standing here with him. I feel very comfortable with him. But I do work with venomous snakes all the time. This is not something that I would think that the normal person would do. But what I want to show is how misunderstood they are. This gaping mechanism that he's doing, you see I'm, I'm sitting right here. He is not lunging at me. He's showing me his mouth and he just wants me to leave. I hope that with you seeing this video that you understand a little bit more um, and maybe you won't see them as being as aggressive as you've been told that they are because they're really not. They are defensive. Um, he has no arms, no legs, and he doesn't have a voice to say, hey, I'm really scared and I want you to leave me alone. So he's going to put on a big show. I hope you guys have a great day.